Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate the functionality to duplicate a denture. In this tutorial, we will go through the process and we will create one STL file for the teeth and one STL file for the denture base. They can be printed each one separately in separate colors and then combined using an adhesive. I have a separate tutorial in situations where you have a two color printer and you will be printing both STL files together, each one in its own color. We're going to be going through a three-step process using different functionality from throughout the software. Each step has its own action items, which we'll present in this video. And this process, I believe, will cost half of an export. We're going to be doing one export from the orthodontics module per jaw. So that's half of an export for the jaw in the orthodontics module. And then we're going to do some actions in Model Master. But let's keep track. Right now we have 25 exports remaining, and we'll check at the end of the process. I believe we're going to be at 24.5. Okay, so the first step in the process flow, we're going to use the orthodontics module to separate the teeth from the gingiva. So I'm going to select orthodontics, aligners, import model. And now I'm going to navigate to the location of my computer that has the STL file of the denture. Okay, so this could be done with one jaw at a time, or you could go ahead and import both, or you could do each one separately. I think the simplest way of doing it is just doing one jaw at a time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select the lower jaw, and then go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to select the mandible, and now we could enter the patient's name and continue to draw alignment. Most of the process here, we're just gonna be clicking through the steps and we're just gonna use the ortho aligner process flow to go ahead and separate the teeth from the gingiva. Okay, the software has automatically annotated and identified the relevant teeth. We could just give the look over and if it looks okay, go ahead and click on continue to teeth segmentation. If needed, you could just grab any of the nodes with your left mouse button and just grab them and drag them into optimal positioning. But definitely for our needs here, this is totally fine. Okay, now the software has gone ahead and has segmented the teeth from the gingiva and we could see the border surrounding each tooth. Now there are two things that we wanna do here. Number one, we wanna check the teeth shapes because these are gonna be the actual shapes of the denture teeth. So go over the teeth if needed, just grab and drag any of the nodes into the optimal positioning. If you need to modify the shape of a tooth, then simply left click on the tooth to activate it, hold down the shift key in your keyboard, use your left mouse button and just draw your new line. Okay, so that obviously is for demonstration purposes. And now I'll just click the undo button. In our situation, everything looks okay. But what we do want to confirm here is that the lines of that one of the teeth are touching each other between every two teeth. And that's because we want to generate one STL file of the teeth and not multiple separated STL files. So to do this, simply just grab the nodes, overlap one on top of the other, and you'll see how they merge into one, and they'll have at least one mutual connecting line. Okay, so I'll do that now here as well. And there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue to model trimming. Now this functionality is obviously for orthodontics. We don't need to trim, so we're just gonna click don't trim mandible and continue the teeth moving. Okay, so this is the step in the line of process flow where you could go ahead and move any of the teeth as needed in order to improve the digital tooth setup. So if you are in a situation where you wanna improve or modify the position of the teeth, it could be done here. Otherwise, we're just gonna essentially go through the step and we're gonna click continue to edit steps without making any modifications to the teeth positioning. Since we didn't make any changes to the digital tooth setup, we have initial position and final position, which are one and the same. And we're going to click export models only and continue to export. 
Okay, the software has automatically added a base for vertical printing, so we're just gonna right click and choose remove. And before we go ahead and export, we're going to, we're going to go to tools, preferences, orthodontics, and just scroll straight down to the bottom. Now this is only something that has to be done one time, but we wanna make sure that we have the option of separated models only selected here. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna export the teeth and the gingiva as two separate files, which is what we want. If we wanted just a single file, that would be no separated models. And if we wanted both the single file and the separated files, we would select separate separated models extra. So I'm just gonna click separated models only. Okay, and now I'm going to click export. Now this has 50, even though at the beginning of the process we saw 25, because ortho is half of an export per jaw, as we mentioned. So there are 50 jaw exports remaining. Um, the message that came up is just confirming regarding a platform for vertical printing, and which is not relevant now. And if we want to add the patient's name to the models, which if you wanted to emboss or engrave the patient's name onto the denture, you could go ahead and do so using the emboss, the label tool that we have right over here. Otherwise, we're just gonna click yes, proceed to export. And if we don't want this to come up anymore, just simply click don't show again. We're now going to select a location on our computer to save the relevant files. I'm gonna go to my desktop, click new folder, click, um, I'll type here denture export, and then click okay. Okay, so if we navigate to the denture export folder on my desktop and open separated models, we could see here we have four files altogether, one for the initial position and one for the final position. But again, since we haven't moved the teeth at all, these are exactly the same. And then we have one file for the gingiva and one file for the teeth. So we have now completed the first of the three steps in the process flow to separate the teeth from the gingiva. So I'm going to X out from this case. If I want, I could save it. We already have the files exported, the gingiva and the teeth files already exported and saved to the computer. So I'm not gonna save the file, I'm just gonna exit out. If you wanna save changes, I'll click discard. And now we're back to the home screen. And here we could see our exports have gone down by half of an export, 24.5. And that's because each aligner or each ortho export is half of an export per jaw. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click Model Master. And the second step of the process, process that we're gonna do is just gonna to be to close models and invert models, and I'll go through that process now. So we're not dealing with a CT scan, so I'm just gonna click Import Models. I'm gonna to go to the separated models. In our situation, there's no difference between the zeros and the ones because we didn't change the teeth positioning at all. If we did, then we wanna go with the latest number, whatever the latest number is here. You want to select that. You could multi-select the files by holding down the shift key and left clicking each file and then clicking OK. We're going to click skip alignment since these files were exported from Blue Sky Plan. They're in the proper orientation and when we import them back into Blue Sky Plan the orientation remains the way it was so we're just going to click skip alignment. Okay here are the two files that we exported previously we go to the surfaces, we could see each one individually. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and hide the teeth. And we're going to go to model editing panel. If you don't have the panel visible on the right side, right side of your screen, just go right here to the drop down for the different panels and select model edit. At this point, we're gonna make sure we have the model for the gingiva selected. We're going to click select all holes and then close selected holes. Okay, we now have our gingiva with the holes closed. Now we're going to go ahead and invert this model. We're gonna to go to model manipulation, show limiting curve, we'll check that, and we'll click draw curve. We're just gonna go around the edge here we're outlining the area that should be inverted. Okay. 
and to mark I'm just holding down the shift key and left clicking with my mouse button and there we go back to the start to close the curve and now I'm going to click create inverted model okay so we've now created a new surface inverted mesh which we could see right here and for the last action for our second step we're going to make the teeth visible we currently have them with openings in the bottom and we're simply going to go to model manipulation, confirm that the teeth are selected, confirm the jaw type, and then click close model. Okay, we now have a new surface, and let's call this surface extended teeth. Now we could confirm that the teeth are not protruding through the front of the denture base. They're protruding through the bottom, which is fine, but they're not protruding through the front. If they were protruding through the front, we could just go to model edit, make sure we have extended teeth selected, use add remove material brush. In this situation, shift and the left mouse button will add material, control and the left mouse button will remove material, and wherever you see the protrusion of the teeth extensions coming through the denture base, just use control and your left mouse button to just go ahead and erase it. You could control the strength of the tool and the diameter of the tool using the sliders right here. And for the third step of the process, we're going to do two Boolean subtractions. So we're gonna go over to Cran and Bridge where we have the Boolean functionality. We're going to activate the teeth edit panel, Boolean operations. And the first Boolean we're going to do is to truncate the teeth so that they, they don't protrude through the denture base. So we're going to do a difference between the extended teeth and the inverted mesh. And we're going to increase the offset to one millimeter because we don't want the teeth to be flush with the bottom of the denture base, but we actually want them to be, let's say a millimeter shorter so that we'll have the inside of the denture base intact and if you're going to be using an adhesive to connect the teeth and the denture base then the adhesive will be within the hole for each tooth within the denture base. So I'm going to click apply and let's check the results here. So if we go to our surfaces we now have extended teeth. Let's just check. Okay. So we could call this teeth boolean. And now we're going to do one more boolean in order to make the holes or make the space within the denture base. So our denture base is our green and we're gonna subtract the gold from the green. So we're gonna to go to teeth edit panel, difference, the green and the teeth boolean and we're going to click apply okay so we now have a new surface here we could call this denture base let's turn off our previous base let's make our teeth white click ok and now let's take a look at our surfaces so here are our teeth if we turn on the denture base we could see that they do not protrude and if we turn off the teeth, we can see we have the hole here for each tooth. Each one of these files can be printed separately and then combined after printing. So finally, we'll go to File, Export Data, and we're going to check whatever surfaces we would like to check. I'm going to check the box for Export Separated Files to a folder because we want them exported separately as separate files, and then click the Export button. I'll create a new folder on my desktop. We call this denture for printing and then click the OK button. Okay, now if we go to denture for printing on my desktop, we now have the two files that are ready for printing. And by the way, I return to the home screen. The entire process could be done with half of an export. We could see there's 24.5 exports remaining. There was half of an export per jaw to export from the orthodontics module and all the manipulations and all the exports that we did in model master had no 
export charge associated with them.